He is the phenomenal one. Here's your look at the FOCO WWE AJ Styles bobblehead. AJ is part of the WWE bobblehead lineup that you can currently find over at FOCO. Find your fanhood over at www.foco.com. Let's get this review underway by figuring out how tall Mr. Styles is. Can I can I call you Mr. Styles? AJ Styles. To the top of his head I go. To the top of uh, of to the top of his head, the Ultra Measuretron tells us the AJ Styles bobblehead sits at a rather impressive 8.2 inches in height, which in centimeters. Let me go ahead and do that for the mom because the mom is always yelling out for centimeters. To you, I answer 20.8. 20.8 centimeters tall is AJ Styles here. Size comparisons. I'm all about those size comparisons. Here he is next to John Cena. We've already had a look at John Cena in a previous review. Have to admit, I'm pretty impressed by these new FOCO lineups of bobble bobbleheads from WWE. A big, by the way, thank you. Thank you to the folks over at FOCO for, prevent for providing these, sending these my way, sending them over so I could have a look at them and showcase them for you guys, the viewers. One thing you'll notice with both the figures is that the display stands seem like they are shared to one another. A smart and clever way actually to make use of the same display stands. Really, all you need to do is change the front, change the Titan Tron and then change the colors, but you could make use of the same display stand. John Cena, of course, had John Cena down on the rampway here, and the green and purple represented here on the side, of course, as Titan Tron was that distinct color. But then if you look at AJ Styles, it's pretty much the exact same display stand, although they've just swapped it out for black and red. The AJ on the of course on the stand itself. And I don't know if you can even see it. I didn't really mention it for John Cena, but all along the bottom rampway here, you've got all these little things referencing AJ Styles. I am the phenomenal one. It's not, I don't know what that actually says. It's not something none. It's very, very hard to see. AJ Styles and various different prints and fonts written alongside there. We spin around to the back and it's completely finished as it was finished on the front. I don't know if you can actually see it because AJ Styles, there he is right there, he's leaping up in the air, probably about to fire off the phenomenal forearm. Spin it around again and then you've got like the AJ Styles logo. How much did the arena erupt? I certainly erupted when uh, AJ Styles made his appearance at the Royal Rumble. I had no idea, I was not expecting it. Talk about wrestling a little bit more later in a bit. But uh, here, by the way, is just John Cena. You can kind of see I, uh, the C Nation respect, hustle, loyalty, all that stuff. You can make it a little bit clearer than AJ Styles. So really smart on their part that they made use of the pretty much the exact same stand, shy of just coloring and changing out some swapped colors there, and of course changing out the Titan Tron there as well. When you get Styles out of his box, there's a little bit of assembly that's required, exactly like. John Cena. So of course the figure and the bobble head will all be one piece. You're going to take the figure and on the underside the bolt and the washer will be part of the peg that's on the underside of his foot. You have to unscrew that like that, take that off, take the washer off and then you'll have just the dowel, just the screw. Fit that through the top section here through the hole to the other side and then you'll just replace the washer, replace the uh, the screw, the, the nut there, and then you're good to go. By the way, on the underside, something else I didn't show you with the John Cena release, is that all of these have felt feet, four to be exact, to prevent any scratching if you put it on surfaces. Underneath you've got FOCO limited edition handcrafted, which is actually one thing to mention and note for all these pieces, that they are handcrafted, they're not factory 
not essentially factory produced, they're hand painted, hand crafted pieces. They're not digitally created in the system and then mass produced. So you feel like there's a little bit more quality to these releases than anything else. You pay a little bit more for the premium of getting these being hand crafted. But I think the trade off though is a really nice representation there of AJ Styles. He is coming out from the ring, probably just recently pulled his. A hood off and he's spread his arms the AJ Styles stance instead of giving him the blue which would seem more logical to me they opted to go with the red bandanas the red I should say elbow pads rest red gloves let me go flip those around for you so you can see them the red gloves on either side kind of a bit disappointed that they didn't they weren't able to put the printing on his gloves um, but a small little small hiccup you can also see that there's the AJ Styles logo featured on the back of his vest, which is funny actually because you can barely see it just because he's so close to the Titan Tron, but it's a small little detail. I'm glad that they didn't overlook. Now I said it would have been nice if they had released this guy in his traditional blue colors. He sort of started his way into the WWE using the blue, the black trunks with the blue on them. Eventually he did migrate and change over to red. So I guess I can't really say I wish he would have stuck to a traditional blue because AJ Styles has had many different looks and different trunks, uh, certainly over the, uh, the time that he's been in the company. Uh, down below, you can see these small little details, like for example, he has phenomenal one down one side of his leg and the one on the other. The AJ Styles logo there on the side of his leg and also featured there on his t-shirt as well. The head sculpt, I have to say, is really good. Really good. I have to admit that does look like AJ Styles. I don't know, since looking at the Justice League and the Batman bobbleheads that we had a look at previously on this channel, I feel like Foco has upped their ante, upped their game when it comes to likeness on these sculpts. That's a pretty good bang on likeness of AJ Styles, if you would imagine AJ Styles to of course be a bobblehead. Now how does this bobblehead action work? Let me show you the science behind all that, or inside of that. Attached to the very top of his neck is one large spring. That large spring attaches to the internal cavity of his head. Bingo, bango, you've got yourself a bobblehead. And what a bobblehead it is. Now, you want to be still careful with these. These are heavier pieces. I don't know if they were made out of poly resin or poly stone, uh, but they definitely are not plate made of plastic. So you want to be a little bit more careful when it comes to displaying these. Paint, though, is, dare I almost say, I'll say the word, the paint is phenomenal on this, as well as the sculpt. Uh, really happy with how AJ Styles looked. And really, to the same vein as what I mentioned with the John Cena release, ideally they could continue to release AJ Styles in his various different colored trunk looks. I mean, we've gone the red one here, but who's to say we also couldn't get the blue trunks, the green trunks, and all the various other color palettes that AJ Styles has tapped into. Though Styles' entrance lyrics will be, no, they don't want none. I really do think that's rather the opposite when it comes to these Foco bobbleheads. Fans of WWE, and more importantly, the phenomenal one, will definitely want to get their hands on AJ Styles, at least of the bobblehead. You don't want to get your hands on the real AJ Styles. You may get yourself a Styles clash as a result of it. If you are interested, though, in picking up the AJ Styles or the John Cena that we had to look at in the previous review, you can find your fanhood over at www.foco.com. And let me just spell that. F-O-C-O. -O. Couldn't be any easier to remember. Foco.com. Swing on over there and you can check out some of the other bobbleheads that they're producing. Hey, now, they also just are releasing the Game of Thrones bobbleheads. I'd like to get those ones and add those to my collection. Uh, but they are also producing a ton of sports memorabilia over there as well. Find your fanhood at Foco.com. Today we were having a look at the Foco WWE. This was the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. If you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other Foco bubble heads, there's a whole playlist for that. And also, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, as certainly more videos will be coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.